All right, guys, now when you start cutting thicker metal, where well, this is about a quarter of an inch, Normally the undercutter here is for cutting thin metal. It does a much better job, but you can also take the number two tip to heat with, put the copper tip on the oxygen. All right, now you're gonna to have to bump the oxygen up to about 10 pounds. Remember when you cut thick metal, you have to preheat it more, and you're gonna to have to bump the oxygen only. Settling's always just four pounds. All right, just a little settling, a little bit of oxygen. Whoop. All right, that bottom tip, roughly about a 45. Wait for that metal to turn red. All right, now I'm watching the bottom tip only. Keep it right down almost on the metal. How sweet is that? Now that slag will knock right off. Now we're gonna show you how to use the overcutter on thicker metal. All right, guys, we're getting ready to cut your thicker metal, normally from about a quarter inch. You know, you can push on that, we just showed you. But usually from about a quarter up to one inch, this is the overcutter. Comes out over the top, heat with the number two, put your copper tip on. Keep that copper tip where it's straight up and down, right down close to the metal. Remember, the closer to the metal on your cutting tip, the nicer, thinner, finer, cleaner and cut you're gonna get. On all thick metal, we have to preheat, remember that. All right, to cut half inch plate, I bump the oxygen only up to 15 pounds. If I'm cutting one inch, I'd be at 21 pounds. Still four on the acetylene. All right, so we're gonna preheat it. Once the metal turns red, pull the trigger. All I'm gonna watch is that top tip. You just keep it right down close to the metal. I'll show you a couple real nice cuts. And guys, again, I've got them real nice fabricator gloves, the new ones for Cobra. If you're gonna cut and do that thicker metal, you need some of those gloves. All right, come in and preheat that metal. All right, wait for that metal to turn red, get both hands comfortable. Guys, notice how nice and clean that cut is. You can cut quicker, faster. Notice just how thin you can trim as little as 1 16th of an inch off of that. All right, once that metal's a little bit warm, say you want to do some design, some pattern cutting, all I'm watching is that top tip. You're not going to cut that close together with a regular torch. Guys, you can't cut like that, that precise even with a plasma cutter. Guys, a plasma cutter to cut that thick, that fast. A slag knocks right off. You're gonna spend at least $3,000. All right, now if you guys wanna actually cut a hole in the middle of it, what you would do is get it red. You know, cut the heat up, real hot flame. Take that cutting tip, once the metal is a little red and molten, pull that top tip a half inch up off the metal. Pull the trigger, blow the hole, then go down and cut just like you would with just a standard torch. Now notice right here, just how nice a square hole that we cut right here. Guys, it'll do an excellent job on that thicker metal, save you a fortune, uh, just in gas savings alone. 
All right, guys, now this right here is our cutting attachment. Now this right here will give you a nice steady hand, get a much nicer, more precise cut. Now you can actually pull, get your little straight edge, a little flat bar. Now you can also push on thin metal. All right, now say you want a bevel or miter. All right, you can go either way. You can adjust it, whoop, adjust it up and down. You can bevel, you can miter either side, pipe, plate. Get you a little piece of metal, keep that in the kit, something 1 16th of an inch or less. Always push the cutting tip right on top of it. Here it's on top, if you're pushing it's on bottom, you're set and you're ready to go. So if you have a shaky hand, want a little nicer cut, you can use our overcutter right here. Now notice on these blocks right here that the right side right here has a little notch on it. Always put that on the right hand side, otherwise it throws it out. You can do a very nice job with this cutting attachment right here. Or just freehand, your choice.